hey everyone welcome back to sebrao so today in this video i will be sharing a few very effective solution to boost your valorant fps and fix lagging problem so first what you will have to do click on your windows search type graphic then from the suggestion click on graphic settings the graphic page will be up now here we have to add the valorant and the riot game to the high performance plan so in order to add you have to click on browse and then you have to navigate to the valorant game path so in order to find the game path what you can do click on your windows search type valorant right click on it then click on open file location you will be getting the valorant icon right click on it again click open file location here you will find riot client services.exe so first we will be adding the riot client so select the path from the top copy it go back click on browse paste the path at the top hit the enter key select riot client services.exe click on add once added click on options and choose to high performance then click on save now again you have to add the valorant open up the file explorer again and then from the top you have to click on riot games then double click on valorant folder then on live shooter game binaries win64 now here scroll down and you will find valorant win64 shipping.exe click on it then copy the path from the top go back again click on browse paste the path at the top hit the enter key select valorant shipping.exe click on add once added again click on options select high performance click on save now you can close it and next we have to enable the game mode and disable the xbox game bar so for that click on your windows search type game mode then click on game mode settings now here you have to make sure that this game mode option has been enabled and then click on the setting search type game bar click on enable xbox game bar and disable this option of open xbox game bar using the button as a controller once you are done close it then bring up your google chrome browser then click on the three dot at the right hand top then from the suggestion click on settings and in the setting from the left hand menu option click on system and there you will find continue running background app when google chrome is closed so you will have to disable this option and also disable use hardware acceleration when available now it will ask you to relaunch so you can click on relaunch and now next click on your windows search type powershell right click on windows powershell choose run as administrator then click on yes the black or blue window will be up now here you have to run a command that you will find in the description so copy and make a right click and paste it so this is for enabling the ultimate performance power plan so once you paste it hit the enter key then you can close it now click on your windows search type power cfg dot cpl hit the enter key and here you have to click on show additional plan and you will find the ultimate power plan has been enabled on your computer and in case if it's not been selected then you have to select it then you can close it next make a right click on the windows icon click on settings then from the left hand menu option click on privacy and security and here in the windows permission you have to disable the general speech inking and typing personalization diagnostic and feedback so click on it make sure all these options are being disabled do the same with the speech and these two other permissions once done scroll down to app permission and here whichever you don't use like phone call call history email messaging radios make sure all these options are being turned off all right so now we are all done with the manual optimization now you'll be getting a link in the description then you will be coming to this website mega.nz where we have uploaded the fps booster you have to copy the link then you can come to this website of virus total because many of you might have a question that we are not downloading any kind of uh, infected file so click on url paste the code hit the enter key and here it will let you know that it's neat and clean and there is not any kind of problem okay so this is just for your satisfaction click on download the downloading will be started and it will be downloaded in a zip file so right click on it extract it then open it and here you will find all kind of optimization file now it's recommended that before proceeding with the optimization kindly click on system restore point make a double click on it then click on create 
and just create a restore point so that in case if you want to revert the action then you can easily do that so you can give any name like valorant optimization then click on create and it will take about few seconds to create it and once it will be created we are ready to optimize it so first you have to click on batch optimization then it says delete temporary file delete log file disable hpet clear dns cache okay so you will have to make a right click on it choose run as admin click on yes press any key to continue it will be all done do the same with the next one right click on it run as admin click on yes press any key to continue do the same with the other two one then go back click on windows optimization disable unnecessary services running in the background so right click on it click on open click on run click on yes click on yes then click on ok optimize all windows settings right click then click on open click on run click on yes click on yes then click on optimize cpu do the same with this one and once you are done with this then you have to come to the registry tweaks do the same with all these settings here then you have to come to the windows debloater double click on it and here you will find windows 10 debloater so if you are using the windows 10 then you can go with this step and in case if you are using windows 11 then you can skip this part so once you are done with all these settings then you will find the great change and the lagging problem on your valorant will be surely fixed and even the fps will be boosted so that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed this video and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video